combination of your nonverbal communication. So we talk about this, but can I borrow your seat for a second? Can I borrow five dollars? That's okay. I can have it. Thank you. I appreciate that, by the way. It just shows you that if you ask, people will give it to you. All right. So anyway, this has nothing to do with that. I just kept pointing out. <laughs> Here I am. It's pretty easy now. <laughs> I gotta get you and him together. <laughs> if you're sitting with a guy and he sits like this and his ankle crossed, that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong. Uh, I have found that if a man communicates to you body language by turning his leg and crossing at the knee, not so good. They'll usually cross at the knee, their legs will turn towards the opening or toward the door, and they will lean back, and it's a protective, almost cocky mode. It's hard to close a man sitting like this, just my experience. What I would invite you, if you see, you come with a proposal, you're talking money, and a man is like this in negotiations, I would invite you to sit in mirror image him. Talk about anything other than money, okay? When you feel like you're making eye contact, there's a smile, some camaraderie before, then at that point, I would invite you to take that piece of paper, your, your uh, proposal, and slowly lean up, uncross your legs, and say, here, let's go over this. Bring your chair up, put your elbows on the desk, look at it, and wait. And if things are going well, what will now happen? He'll have to unjust his legs, or un off to open his legs to lean forward. He'll mimic you and come forward at your request and feel like he's moving towards you. If you ask him and have that request and he continues to lean back after you've requested and moved and you stare at him, what do you not do at this point? Don't talk about the numbers and do the proposal. Either get him back outside, re-showing the car, or T.O. it because there's something going wrong. Okay? Uh, if you see a guy, and you, most of you would have heard this, but if a person, man or woman, crosses their arms and they pull it up tight, it's a, it's a natural protection mode, so they're crossing and locking you out if you're talking money. If they just are real loose, there's people that do that no matter what. That's just their normal thing, and it's just a loose thing. But you will watch people, they'll sit down, you'll, you'll get ready to give them money and they'll cross, and they kind of pull it and punch up their shoulders. And it's like I'm protecting myself against you. If you're a man getting ready to give a proposal to another man and you've got a traditional desk and you're sitting across, I would invite you to say, here, I wanted to go over this proposal with you. Don't want you to bend your neck. Here, pull around with me if you would. And when you do it real slow, what will